Hello friends, this is Tony Astonato. The intro pieces you're hearing I played on my laptop that I used live on stage control with the Yamaha WX5 MIDI Wind Controller Wind Synth. I'm playing the Wallander Instruments Weavy Saxes, Trombone, and Trumpet and I used the Angstro Looper Audio Looper plugin to layer the parts up as they were played. In my last video, I was on stage trading for us with excellent trombonist Jeff Rainier on real trombone. I was playing WX5 and Weavy trombone. In this video, we're going to get into seeing how my Nuendo setup works so I can share ideas with people. I'm especially interested to see how many of these things could be done in other hosts like Reaper, for instance. So let's take a look here. Okay, here's my workspace with my project window off to the right. I have the laptop set flat on the music stand in front of me with another music stand usually in front of that on the left. All I really need to see is that project window. I'm playing audio for this demo on my laptop, but I'm using my net PC for the video presentation. It won't load my more recent project files, likely cause they're just too loaded up and it's an older PC. That's why it's the net PC. So the audio will have some tracks and sounds that you won't see indications of in the video. So here we have track 1 selected and it's active. Whenever you select a track it's automatically activated. This track is set for no MIDI input and no output and acts like a standby track. No matter what track is selected I have generic remote configured to send MIDI reset whenever I press down on the WX5 thumb wheel. I also have generic remote set to change tracks in Nuendo by pressing the top two unused keys on the WX5. And I can also change tracks with the USB foot switch that I use. While the off track is selected, we'll quick listen to the hardware synth I use with the WX5 and that's a Yamaha VL70M physical modeling module. As that's playing, I'll explain how I use MIDI program change commands. I send MIDI program change commands from the WX5 to the VL70M using fingering combinations. And they are also passed on to the active track in Nuendo. I have the ARP 2600, the Moog, and Albino all set up to follow MIDI program changes, and the presets on all four synths are set to line up so they're usable together or separately. If I want to have a setup where I want each synth on a specific preset, I insert program change commands on the sequencer timeline and select them by using the track locators. I have Halion and Weavy set up so that sounds are accessed via MIDI channel and not by program change, so tracks that route to them have the MIDI program change commands filtered out. I do that by using the MIDI input transformer on those tracks. The audio of the VL70M is routed directly through my M-Audio Firewire 410 interface and mixed with the laptop sounds, so I'm not routing or processing that in Nuendo at all. I'll turn off the VL70M now by selecting a silent preset via program change and we'll take a look at the new endo tracks and how they transmit to the various VSTi instruments. I'll select my clavinet track here and open up my VST instruments window. The clavinet is played by Halion and it's using the breath control for filter. I use Halion for clavinet. I also use it for percussion. And that has congas and timbales. Various shakers, triangle, which is nice, and bell tree, which is nice. Everybody likes the bell tree. And then I also have things like vibraphones, steel drum, and kalimba, all the things that a sampler is good for. The next slot is open in case I want to run a VST instrument spur of the moment like milestone or maybe uh, the native instrument is Hammond B4 if there's no keyboard player on the gig. The next slot has the Arturia ARP 2600V and that's a synthesizer I've always loved. And then the Moog Modular V2 from Arturia also. They're close in sound but they have presets each that are unique and useful. And another one that is just like that is Albino 3, which also has a lot of presets that are nice and useful. And then I get into my uh, five Weavies, which are set up for various instruments, brass and woodwind instruments, like solo trumpet, and trombone. And a Harmon trumpet. And tuba. And French horn. 
Now each track in Nuendo can send up to five different VSTIs at once. So now we can get into the more complex things to start combining things. Here's uh, two trumpets and one trombone. And I also added in the sax later. And then here you can hear all the analog synths at once. And that would be the Arturia R2600 and the Moog modular and also Albino all at once. Now here's where things get more interesting. You can insert up to four MIDI plugins on each track and one more on each of the sends. MIDI plugins can process MIDI data like changing breath control to other controllers and shape pitch bend, almost anything. The MIDI plugin I use most is Quarter. It's only available in Nuendo and Cubase and I haven't been able to find anything else like it. It's a key mapping plugin that lets you trigger any notes from each note you play, allowing you to program key splits and complex harmony parts. I play in bands with lots of horns often, but sometimes it's just me and it's fun to be able to play the entire horn section parts either way. A song that I end up playing pretty often with a lot of bands that shows off quarter and the routings innuendo is Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive. Here we have the background orchestra stabs played by layering up the trumpet, French horn, trombone, saxes, and strings with different assignments from quarter. Next I play some complex harp glissandos by mapping all the keys on the WX5 to good notes in the harp glissando so I can't play any wrong notes no matter what. The problem with quarter is that once you have your chord assignment map, your key mappings all programmed in, if the singer decides that they want to change the key of the song to make it easier to sing, maybe take it down a step, you have to completely redo a new map. There's no quick and easy transpose function. So on a couple of these songs, I have them programmed in in a couple different keys on different tracks. I'll wrap it up here with a couple quarter harmony map songs that are off my newer setup. The first one is All the Things You Are, that's a jazz standard. And then the next one is a thing I did with a George Harrison tribute, uh, It Don't Come Easy. Thanks for listening.